Good morning. Um, the morning after. Uh, man, I woke up a little bit later than usual this morning. Um, uh, let's let's talk about it. Alexander uh, Volkanovsky uh, versus um, Islam Makhachev. Fantastic fight. Fantastic fight. Um, Islam rightfully won. Um, but Alex won my heart. Let me get my cup of joe. And that's the black two sugars. Look, I want to say this. Kudos to the UFC for having the right guy win. Um, they could have easily um, gave it to the hometown boy. And, and, and they, because the fight was close enough, um, both of them being champions. And I just like that Islam Makhachev got the nod. I want to say this too. Alex... He didn't dominate any part of the fight. And I'm going to tell you how he won my heart, but he didn't he didn't win any real aspect of the fight. Islam was beating him standing up. Um and even Alex was acknowledging that. Good shot. Oh, knocked my head back. Good good, ugh, good shot. And on the ground um Islam dominated uh Alex on the ground as well. But here's the thing. Alex was comfortable standing up and comfortable on the ground. Huh? I do have to give love to Islam because I, I didn't know he was that special in the stand-up. Alex Volkanovsky, I, I don't care if you're taller than him. He usually have the longer reach, which he did again last night. The taller guy doesn't necessarily, you know, is a better striker against Volkanovsky. He's so special standing up. It's incredible. And he's good on the ground. But Alex Volkanovsky was better on the ground than I thought he was going to. So it, there were a lot of surprises there because I thought Islam was going to dominate on the ground. He's so good on the ground. I thought that he was just going to, once he gets him down, it was going to be a wrap. He was going to keep dragging him down, controlling him, and then eventually choking him. But that big head, zero neck of Alex Volkanovsky, just the shoulders, like he couldn't get there. Plus the, the mechanics of Alex grabbing the wrist and doing the things he was doing. I mean, the guy... Very knowledgeable on the ground. He didn't look uncomfortable anywhere. That's one point on why he took my heart. Another thing, Alex Volkanovsky, um, what he did show to be greater than Islam that fight, the one thing was endurance. The ability to endure, to endure stamina issues or to endure physical punishment. He had greater endurance than Islam. And you can see it in Islam's eyes. When he was looking at him, he was just like shocked. And kind of like, it almost looked like a deer in the headlights. It almost looked like he was terrified, which I know he wasn't. But the look, he was just like, this is insane. It's, it was like a Rocky movie. It, it You can't help but to cheer for Alex Volkanovsky because it was like a Rocky movie. There was nowhere Rocky was better than Apollo Creed. And there he is, still standing in a split decision at the end. I'm talking about Rocky 1. Like Durant versus Hagler. Going... That, there, was, there was no advantages Duran had over Hagler. And still, over 15 rounds, split decision, close fight. Alex Volkanovsky um, demonstrated why. I had a comment, and someone said, if he makes it a close fight, it proves why he's one of the greatest ever. And I didn't agree. I was just like, close fight who? I mean, no. That comment was right. I'm like, this guy is very special. It's a very special fighter. I Side note, put a pin in that. Uh, congratulations to Shock Foster beating Ray Vargas. I didn't want to, I thought Foster was a better fighter, um, was going to best Ray Vargas, but I was tired of un, tired of underestimating, consistently underestimating Ray Vargas. So I just didn't call who I thought was, was going to win that fight. Congratulations to Mario Barrios as well. Um, I know a few of you guys hit me up saying, hey, Teofimo Lopez versus Josh Taylor look like it's, it's close to, I'm, I'm about done announcing what's close. Uh, the only, Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis, I will announce everything. I will be on top of that because we have really grabbed the brain. Like that fight is our community's fight. It's the biggest fight in the world. But we cover that fight in an unbiased way that that fight deserves. Um, so I will always, but you know, you, you see Tyson Fury and Usyk, that fight fell apart. They said that it, they, it fight may not even happen now. Um, so I'm not trying to be first. 
really anymore. Um, but I do hear that Josh Taylor versus Teofimo Lopez is close, that Canelo Alvarez pretty much done going to fight John Ryder in Mexico. I'm hearing all that. Um, now, back to UFC. Great fight, champion versus champion. UFC got so many things right here for making the fight happen, for the fight, for both fighters to be extremely prepared, so much so that they were both extremely confident and to get the decision right. Kudos to UFC. Let me know how you all feel in the comments below. I want to say Islam won the fight. Alex won my heart. I'm out. Huh?